Hello everyone, welcome back to my garden. This is Chippendale Rose in hot summer. It is not looking very healthy with its leaves, but it has got a lot of big blooms for me to enjoy. Stunning rose, see you in purple. Persica hybrid rose from Cordes. It starts with a yellow bud and open up into cream white petals with a purple eye in the center. This is an enchanting rose with its very black colored bud and beautiful leaves, especially in springtime. A lovely hybrid tea rose from Cordes, Souvenir du Baden-Baden, belonging to the Eleganza group. It's ideal for a cat flower. It can give you the scent of a lychee, elderly flower, mirabelle and fruit, and sweet mandarin. It's also got an earthy scent of pacholi. It's very generous in its flower and it's got an ADR certificate. The rose that I admired so much with its new growth this year is Caramella from the fairy tale collection of Cordes. I cut this rose down to its base this spring and then it has given me lots of new shoots. Very healthy growth and very floriferous this year. This is the second flush. This is a beautiful and scented rose, but I don't know its name. It grew healthily after I clean up the area and is giving me lots of flowers. If you can identify the name of this rose, kindly write it in the comment section. I'll be happy to know its name.
One of the magical moments in this garden is to smell the very strong, fruity scent of Colibre Farb Festival, a climber rose from Mayo. It fills the air in this area. Parfuma roses from Cordes. These are fruity parfuma and earth angel. Just few flowers after the first flush. On the other hand, Olivia Rose Austin and Sneevitchen are very good producers of flowers after the first flush throughout this season. Another perfumer rose from Cordes called Brave and Diana, also known as Royal Parfuma or Dark Desire. She is a very prolific rose, non-stop producing flowers and bud after the first flush. She is a jewel in the garden. I have this garden for 13 years now. It started with 130 roses, but the garden evolves every year. Some plants grew healthy, 
and some are struggling to survive, especially now with the climate change. It is very evident and it affects our lives and nature. My garden life experience is interesting. I learned how to take care of herbaceous and deciduous plants or trees. I also learned how to propagate and divide easily the perennials so I don't have to buy and I save the money. Slowly I am trying to learn how to grow vegetables in limited space. It is exciting. In the meantime I finish the center beds which are planted with only roses and few perennials. My garden is my safe heaven, my stress reliever, and everything I do here is like therapeutic. It makes my mind and heart at peace. I am so happy with this French red rose called Leonardo da Vinci. It is covered with lots of flowers already in the first and this is the second flush. What a delight to see this in my garden. Merck and Salva, also known as Blis Parfume, belonging to the fairy tale collection of Cordes, is just having its second flush. It has so many flowers and a lot of them are wilted already. A stunning rose called Andre Del Bar from Del Bar. It's like a firework in color. I really love this rose and it grew um, new shoots after I clean up the area this year. Early summer this year I bought this shrub rose from Rosenthal. It's called Sirius. It came out in the market 2013. This rose has gathered a lot of awards internationally. The winning point is it flowers abundantly. This is the second flush. The flower has a soft apricot color and then fades into pure white. Very beautiful and elegant rose. All the video clips were taken this month. The first one was last August 18, where the roses were soaked by the heavy rain. The second one, which you are watching right now, was taken around noon time in August 19 at a very high temperature. It shows you how the roses and the garden looks like in the very hot summer here in Germany.
Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to see more of my roses and garden, kindly subscribe to my channel. I appreciate very much your support. Until then, take care, God bless us all, and bye.